Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video we are going to learn about an AI tool that is all in one which means encompasses a lot of AI models such as Gemini, ChatGPT, Llama all connected in one platform. Okay so this platform not Diamond AI right so not Diamond AI is a new AI platform just arrives is completely free to use. I've actually been able to have the opportunity to access and chat with a lot of the AI models like ChatGPT, Google Google Gemini, Microsoft Copilot and the likes of them but I have not seen a chatbot that does what this particular one is doing. So let's get into it to understand what it does, how it does quite a lot of things in one place. To access Not Diamond AI, all you need is just to open your browser, come anywhere within the search bar and you can just go ahead and search for Google and you can go ahead and search for Not Diamond AI just like that and you just hit on enter and you brought in over here. You can see Not Diamond AI, they type it directly and it will this particular website. Website, okay? The future is multi-model, encompasses different types of models. So you can just go ahead, you can explore what is it and what you can see here and a lot of um, insights about it, encompasses many models. Okay, So you can just go ahead and say sign up or you can, yeah, you can say sign up and you can go ahead and sign up with your email and password that you have to register or you can just go ahead and sign in or sign up with one of your account. Maybe if you have a Google account or if you have a, a GitHub account, you can use it. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use my Gmail account account to just use it and log. Alright, so once you log into notdiamond.ai, you can come all the way to chats over here. You can go ahead and still log in with, with your one of your email address and you'll be brought in over to this very platform. Now, one thing that is going to interest you when I said that this one is very unique and it does things very differently. When you come over to these settings, you just will see the number of um, AI models that it is currently using. You see it's using GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-4 O Mini, Cloud 3, Cloud 3.5, Sonnet, Gemini 1.5, most of these um, AI tools paid versions, okay, but here you find it completely free to use. Perplexity, Mistral Large, uh, Llama 3.1, most of them are not free to use, but you can see it encompasses, it uses all of them. So some of them are good for writing emails, some are good for summarizing documents, some are good for research like Perplexity AI, but then here is all in one. On its own, select a particular model that is based on the kind of questions or kind of prompts that you provided. So let's go ahead and ask some questions and then from there we'll now be able to see how this responds what kind of model it is using for our response you give me an essay about sustainability you can just hit on enter and you will be able to see how fast this is going to respond and you can see pretty pretty fast you can see sustainability a path through a balanced feature you can see it is writing it's very intelligent and it's writing quite a lot here okay you can see one thing to pay attention to is the speed at which it is writing and down here you can see something interesting the model that it used for this particular write-up it states here it down here which is cloud 3.5 sonnet it uses cloud 3.5 sonnet because it's what is fine that it is very good for when it comes to this and latency took this here yeah? and then the cost so even though at this point it's completely free so don't look at this cost and think it is anything it's nothing all right so this is how fast and interesting it can be you can copy your content directly and if you don't like this you can always go ahead and regenerate the content you can click to regenerate if you don't want it and it's just going to regenerate for you pretty fast so you can see right now it has um, done the wonders it has given us this you can just go ahead and ask it to write something for example you can say we can give it another prompt and one good thing you can be specific you can say it should regenerate with a different model if you want it to regenerate with a different model you can click on this you'll be able to see it can regenerate using any of the model right now it uses the cloud 3.5 sonnet if you want it to regenerate using gemini 1.5 pro it will just do that pretty fast and it's going to be completely different uh, from what you have seen okay so you can see this is generating using gemini 1.5 okay so you can see it has regenerated using this um, model so you can go ahead and select any of the models available perplexity you can see it should regenerate using perplexity or the about now one thing to note is that if you use if you thumbs it is going to use this kind of model whenever you ask it this similar question okay if you ask in the future if you ask questions similar to this it is going to use this particular model it means you like it and if you thumbs down it means it's not going to be using similar models in the near future so it's very very sensitive to this so let's ask it further questions like 
can you give me a python code to solve simultaneous equations okay so you can just hit on enter and it's going to on its own select the kind of model to use and it's going to give you the model the code directly and then you can directly copy and then the script does the following you can see it has given you an example um, to use the script you should make sure you have this be installed and so on you can see the detailed this is the code you can go ahead and copy it or you can download it directly on your own so you can just copy you can see you just direct downloaded it directly and you can copy and put it in any of the compiler you are interested in working with and then this is the example that it has given you and this is the answers that you've got this prop code is going to solve this now one thing to note also is it uses the cloud 3.5 sonnet to write this if you wanted to write using the different model you can go ahead and select this to write using another model now this is solving or answering questions related to code and normal text let's say we add in a pdf document and ask it a question about it so let's go ahead and click on add and let's go to so let's say this and we can ask it a question about this particular pdf document what is this document about okay so you can just go ahead and hit on enter and just give you some seconds to hear what it has to say about this particular document okay so you can see right now it has picked in the information from our document it appears to be mix of text snippets that might be part of a presentation or tutorial there is a no a breakdown of its content title and introduction how to use chat gpt for beginners dr rashid programming python javascript and so on this section suggests this and this is is completely exactly what is in the document if you want to have a more detailed one let's put in something that probably contain more text that we can actually use so let's say we ask something about this what is the major finding this is a research paper so we can say what is the major finding in this research paper and let's hear from the chat what it has to say about this you see so you can see it is giving us very very nice answer and down here you can see it has used the gpt 40 to you to compute the to develop this answer you can see that the major finding in this research paper is the development and successful application of a new coupled hydrological and hydrodynamic model for flood simulation and that's exactly what is in the document this is how powerful this ai tool can be I think it is a must try AI model if you want to just go ahead and experience it look like similar to what you have in, in chat GPT and so on and that you can always access your previous charts from here and you can click on these two dots to rename them or you can just go ahead and go to a new chart at any given point and you can go ahead and say surprise me and uh, to write something or you can let's say we we'll ask you to generate an image of something for us let's see if you can do that Can you generate the image of a cat in a swimming pool? Let's see if it can actually do this for us. All right, so at this moment, it says it cannot generate images directly, but I can describe one for you. Uh, imagine a playfully scene where a fluffy cat. Okay, so if we cannot generate with GPT-4, let's change the model and have something like Gemini 1.5 Pro to generate this. All right, so you can see this is a limitation that you should take note. It is an, a text-based assistant, a chat assistant, and do not have the functionality to create images at this moment. Very probably in the near future they are going, they are going to improve it to incorporate the use of the generation of images as well but i find it exceptionally useful and it's very very powerful when it comes to the kind of um, intensity it uses in generating the model that you need and the fact that it incorporates all of these models that you want now if you want to learn about it more you can go to custom system prompt if you want to learn more or go to docs to learn more about the other things that you can do what what is not diamond uh, doing okay what you can and if you want to learn more about some of its key features what it does and, and so on it's at the trial stage and i definitely know that in the near future this tool is going to be paid but for now it is completely free to use you have this arena mode if it enables you to define or describe how your text prompts or how the responses from the chatbot should be you can be a specific maybe you want it to be friendly or unfriendly or you should incorporate some emotions during the generation of the text so i find it exceptionally useful you can just go ahead and try it uh, if you find it useful also you can share it with your friends so this concludes this tutorial about the use of an all-in-one chatbot called the no diamond ai i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye